When and why did the world population grow? And how does rapid population growth come to an end? What are the driving factors for a change in population growth rate? These are the big questions and you will get an answer in this video. It took us almost 70 hours to make this video for you. Please like and subscribe. It will take you only 2 seconds. The world population increased from 1 billion in 1800 to 7.7 .7 billion today. 50 years ago population growth rate is 2.2% per year and now it declined to 1.05% per year. The following factors are the main reasons for the change in population growth rate. Number 1. Life expectancy. Improving health leads to falling mortality, and hence this is one of the factor that increases the size of the population. Estimates suggest that in a pre-modern poor world, life expectancy was around 30 years in all regions of the world. Since 1900 the global average life expectancy has more than doubled and is now above 70 years. The inequality of life expectancy is still very large across and within countries. In 2019 the country with the lowest life expectancy is the Central African Republic with 53 years, and Japan topped the world with about 84 years. Number 2. Child and Infant Mortality. Child mortality refers to the death of children under the age of 5, and infant mortality refers to the death of children under the age of 1. Mortality at a young age has a particularly big impact on demographic change. Mortality rates have declined in all world regions, but the world is not on track to reach the sustainable development goal. Before the modern revolution, it was very high in all societies that we have knowledge of, a quarter of all children died in the first year of life, almost half died before reaching the end of puberty. Over the last two centuries, all countries in the world have made very rapid progress against mortality. From 1800 to 1950, global mortality has halved, from 43% to 22.5%. Since 1950, the mortality rate has declined fivefold, from 22.5% to 4.5% in 2015. All countries in the world have benefited from this progress. In the past, it was very common for parents to see children die, because both, child mortality rates and fertility rates were very high. In Europe in the mid-18th century, parents lost on average between 3 and 4 of their children. Number 3. Fertility Rates Rapid population growth has been a temporary phenomenon in many countries. It comes to an end, when the average number of births per woman, the fertility rate, declines. The global average fertility rate is just below 2.5 children per woman today. Over the last 50 years, the global fertility rate has halved. And due to the modernization of societies, the number of children per woman decreases very substantially. In the pre-modern era, fertility rates were 4.5 to 7 children per woman were common. At that time the very high mortality at a young age kept population growth low. As health improves and the mortality in the population decreases, we typically saw accelerated population growth. This rapid population growth then comes to an end, as the fertility rate declines and reaches two children per woman. There are three major reasons behind the rapid fall in the global fertility rate. That is the empowerment of women, declining child mortality and the rising cost of bringing up children. As the global population growth rate has declined from a peak of 2.1% per year in 1968 to less than 1.1% today, therefore we are in the transit to a new balance, where rapid population change will come to an end. The big global demographic shift of more than two centuries long is coming to an end, this new equilibrium is different from the one in the past when it was the very high mortality that kept population growth in check. In the new balance, it will be low fertility keeps population changes small. And ultimately for the first time in modern history, the world's population is expected to virtually stop growing by the end of this century.
Thank for watching and don't forget to subscribe.